Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Hugh here from Creator Up. Today, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial screencast to talk about how you deal with the noise issue of your Gimbal Guru 360. So, uh, I made this video like a couple weeks ago, uh, and one of the common from all of you guys is actually the complaint about the the high pitch humming of the motor uh, when you're using the Guru Gimbal 360 uh, to stabilize your 360 video footage. So uh, I do my personal testing on this high pitch uh, humming and it is there. Uh, is especially for uh, my Nikon key mission we also capture that noise. But the problem is, well, uh, the problem is there, um, but there is a way you can solve this problem easily. Uh, so I, I'm gonna in this tutorial teach you how to get rid of the humming noise and actually increase the, uh, the audio recording quality of your audio straight out from your camera. But before I doing all that, word of warning, as you see the comment in here, uh, if you want to use your 360 video footage from your Gear 360 or Nikon key mission or whatnot, uh, use it in a professional level, uh, even a YouTube level, and you want to have a clear audio, if somebody's talking, right? I would actually not suggest you use the in-camera audio recording feature. Uh, for me, uh, because I, I consider myself as a professional videographer, I would never actually record audio straight up from my DSLR. I will always use the audio recorder, an external audio recorder to capture audio. So, so when I do interview, I will have a clear audio. Uh, so if I don't record audio even on a DSLR, I the new camera I just got a GH5 Panasonic. Uh, you should not record audio on that little tiny 360 video camera like Nikon Key Mission. That to me is only as a reference audio, so I can sync the audio in my external uh, recorder in the post production. If you want to learn how to do that, I can have another tutorial teach you how to record audio separately from your camera and sing it in post is actually very easy and you should do that if you're very serious about your video your video, and you want to put it on YouTube and you want you will have a really immersive environment, please record clear audios. Okay, so now back to this tutorial. So uh, let's assume the scenario that you don't have an audio, external audio recorder and you want to just record audio straight out from your camera and you want to use the Guru 360 gimbal and you hear that annoying high pitch humping noise. So how to get rid of that? And here I will show you how. So again, open Premiere and drag the footage. I have a test footage right here and let's actually take a look. Uh, I will shut up and play the video right now. So we are outside. We are testing the motor noise of the Guru 360 gimbal stabilizer. I'm just working around, try to record the buzzing noise and everybody seem to have a problem with. So I'll try to capture while I'm talking, I try to capture as many buzzing noise as possible to see if I can get rid of it in a post production. I'm also outside so you actually get also the environment noise. So that's usually you will actually use the in camera audio used as a background. So that probably is the only scenario that I will actually use the in camera uh, audio recording. But let me just keep it silent to just capture a little bit of the buzzing noise right now. Okay, I think that's enough. Let me just kill this. Oops. Okay, so I think it's, you watch enough. That is my testing footage. So I am in Premiere. So. Uh, there's a couple ways to get rid of constant noise because the noise, the high pitch noise is very constant. It's actually very easy to get rid of it. The first one is if you have Adobe, I mean, if you have an Adobe Creative Cloud, subs Creative Cloud subscription, you always have this software called Adobe Audition CC, which is come free with your package. So uh, if you want to go with the you know, semi okay free route, um, I will just use that. Uh, actually, I never used that before. Uh, but I will try to figure out how to get rid of the noise with this software. I'm pretty sure it's almost the same uh, with any uh, audio software, like Pro 2 or Ableton. Uh, but go ahead and and inside Premiere, when you drag the footage in the timeline, right click, and you have this option say, uh, 
at edit clip in Adobe Audition and that is the one you want to choose So click that so you we will open uh, Adobe Audition CC so we are and again you will see the audio right here uh, as you see my footage you you remember that the last part I actually just shut up and record the environment noise and that's including the constant motor noise you have on your game uh, uh, on your guru 360 gimbal so this is right here so I can play that let me point my microphone to my speaker as you you can hear the airplay uh, and the noise at the same time but the noise is constant right I should play it again for you just, just you can hear the the high pitch noise generated from the gimbal and that's actually from the gimbal and also, I live next to an airport, so you can also hear airplane noise. Uh, okay, it's very noisy. Okay, so so here is the clear noise. So uh, that including the environment noise, the airplane noise, and also the gimbal noise. And I will get rid of all that, so I have a clear, uh, good sounding audio. So in actually any audio cleaning devices VST plugin, the first thing you do is find a clear noise profile and that is clear noise profile because I was not talking in the video uh, let's just set that right there and then I will just look around in the effect plugin and they have this thing called noise reduction and that is what you need to get uh, so pick that and just noise reduction processed oh please capture noise okay so as I said, right, first thing you don't have is you don't have a noise profile. So the software don't know what you consider as noise. So for here, I want to consider noise as the motor noise from the Guru 360. So the first thing I actually capture that noise. So right here, capture noise print. Hit that. Uh, okay. Now I have a noise profile. I go back to the effect and choose, where is that? Noise reduction right here. So noise reduction process. Okay, now you see this red dot, the noise profile right here underneath it. Uh, if you just hit output noise only right here, and then just play, you can hear the noise. Okay, so if you select the entire entire file, so we select the entire file. Now I point the microphone to the speaker, so I'll let you hear just the noise output. As you hear, my key mission is actually pretty poor in audio recording. You can see uh, I have noise in my voice as well. But you can see the constant noise right there from the Game Boy 360. Okay. I think you hear enough of the noise. So that is a noise I would love to get rid of. And the program is so smart, you already figure out the high pitch noise because it's a constant and high pitch. Uh, literally any noise denoise program VSD can pick it up. Uh, so again, I will make sure that you uncheck that. You don't want to just output noise, right? So uh, uncheck that, select the entire track, you say apply. And if you play again, the noise is almost over. But again, um, if if you are if you just don't want any environment noise, you don't want any motor noise, you want to have super super studio clear audio recording like you're recording in all external audio devices, um, you can run it again. So I mean you cannot hear it right now, but if you put on a headphone, you might still hear a little bit of noise, a little bit of high pitch noise, and the airplay noise, and and it's annoying. Uh, we can just run it again, so we can just repeat the process. Uh, capture a noise print this time is a tiny noise print right we have that data so we go back to noise reduction right here noise process reduction um, we're gonna apply select entire track and do it again and this time here it becomes silent now you, you will not be able to hear anything and you can see it right, right here it is literally nothing there's no like data coming out here I can get rid of it. and my and my voice sounds super clear which is amazing. So uh, go ahead and save it. Uh, one good thing about Audition is it actually sync with your Premiere, as you see here, turn green, because the track right now is actually coming out from Audition. I think you can be able to close that right now. 
problem with. So I should capture what I'm talking. I should capture as many buzzing noise as possible. Great. So if you even see this part, you hear nothing. So that is a really clean audio output. Um, let me just output that and and just like so I have the record. Hit I. Hit O. So I go ahead and output it. Okay, so uh, let's play this and see the dramatic difference. So we are outside, we are testing the motor noise of the Guru 360 gimbal stabilizer. I'm just working around trying to record the buzzing noise and everybody seems to have a problem with it. So I try to capture what I'm talking, I try to capture as many buzzing noise as possible to see if I can get rid of it in a post-production. I'm also outside, so you actually get also the environment noise. So that's usually you will actually use the in-camera audio used as a background. So that probably is the only scenario that I will actually use the in-camera uh, audio recording. But let me just keep it silent to just capture a little bit of the buzzing noise right now. Okay, as you hear, that part is totally silenced, the noise get rid of completely. So that is how you get rid of your noise with the free Audition uh, CC from Adobe. Uh, if you have Premiere, you probably already have it, so it's a no-brainer, right? Uh, but again, I never use it because uh, I, I use professional-level audio cleanup software uh, to actually make the audio sound absolutely amazing. So uh, I would just show you here, this part is advanced. If you don't want to learn about advanced, you can just stop here and move on and clean up your audio and upload on YouTube. That's definitely good enough. Uh, if you want to learn about advanced, so if you see like, if you pay attention of the audio meter right here, the, the left and right channel is not even in the same level. That's just the problem of a Nikon key mission. And again, I, I would never use it to record audio, but if I need to use it, that's what I'm gonna do. So um, I have a go ahead and undo it. So now I have the original audio, the very busy, uh, buzzing original audio, right? So again, I gotta output that audio, just that audio. Go on here, export media, uh, wave file, and right, let's output that audio. It's original, right? Original, right here. Go ahead and export that, and then the software I use is ISOTO RX5 or RX Pro. Um, I already actually do the sample cream the audio right here. Uh, I'll just close this, no saving. So the audio I just output is, where is, where is it? Right here, original, right? I drop it into ISOTO, ISOTO RX5. And first thing again, right, uh, this is a better software to find a noise profile. I'll just go ahead and grab this part, the silent part, right? Yeah, you can hear the noise right here, and then we'll go ahead and hit the noise. Um, first thing is I actually picked dialogues because I was talking, it's, it's a conversational footage. So I will go ahead and learn, learn the noise profile here, and then I will select the whole track and process. So that probably is the only scenario. And this is actually clear because this is a better software to actually find out the actual noise and get rid of the noise but, and not detone my volume and my voice. But again, uh, here, there's still noise in here. I want to try to get rid of it completely. So the next step is so I'm actually going to repeat the exact process. But this time I use spatial. Uh, again, I go ahead and learn the noise profile. Um, then it just select the entire track, process again. Now it's completely gone. In camera, audio, use as a... 
Okay, so uh, so that is a really clear uh, like output right now. It just probably the same as the output right now as we did in audition. But I want to put an extra work to make the audio outside. back. And as you see here, uh, the left and right channel is not in the same volume because just the audio recording is kind of not good in Nikon key mission. Uh, so I want to fix that because while you denoise, you actually reduce the volume of your audio track, which is totally fine. Uh, you can burn it up in post production, and that's how you do it. Uh, first, I want to match level between left and right channel. So go ahead uh, here, set up the whole thing, and I pick channel ops right here, and there's a preset for it. Um, yeah, automatic level matching. Just pick that, click. Yes, process. Boom. So now I can get rid left of and right is in the, in the almost end number, also outside, so which is sound um, better. Uh, and here, uh, I would try to level the whole thing up. Um, not too smooth and accurate. So clicking. so you actually get also the environment noise so that okay so now uh they also level up uh, my my audio so i would not suddenly pretty loud or suddenly really quiet we have a constant gain uh when i let i want put the level together the last thing i would do is actually put it back the gain back so uh, i would throw a let place the gain right uh, Normalize in minus sixty B. Yes, process. Okay, but you know it's possible. So minus sixty B is just an industry standard, and it's actually kind of YouTube standard. So uh, you will not blow people's eardrum out when they play your video, um, and also you just have a nice loud audio. But so last thing you do, you just go ahead and export this back as a WAV file. Uh, I usually just name it RX. Okay, original RX. It's okay. audio safe. Okay. Um, so the last thing you do is go ahead and find the file you just output, uh, which is right here. Uh, tutorial three sixty. No wrong. Where is it? Passing audio right here. Clean up audio or exit. Open import the audio file. Drag it right underneath it, and you can go ahead and right click here and link the footage. Get rid of this buzzy audio and replace it with the RX footage, and then link it. Should we capture as many? And you're done. You you will not hear any noise, and everything just sound um, more professional. Um, so hopefully this tip help you to just continue to use your Guru 360 gimbal to capture footage. Um, I mean, uh, it's it's a minor problem that have the buzzing noise, but again, it's not really related to the gimbal because, I mean, first you would never use. I would never use. The audio from the camera uh, for my footage if I use it I would do at least a little bit pro production like this thing I just show you to get rid of the noise so uh, think about it people kind of put your footage in front of their face on a VR cargo um, and the, the volume is, is right in there near the ear so you want to have as clear audio as possible for your audience um, so either use an external video or uh, external video recorder and that is the best professional solution, or get rid of the noise, including the buzzing noise, environment noise, and any noise that generate from the camera uh, before uploading on YouTube. So hopefully this tip helped you. Uh, again, if you have any question, please comment below. And if you like this video, please give me a thumb up and please subscribe to my channel. That will help me a lot to continue to make more free content for you guys to help you to get better in your 360 and VR video production. And I will see you next time.